Hello and welcome to Technique Tuesday. This is actually a requested uh, video from one of my subscribers, Cheryl. She wanted to know how I covered my Anna Green Gables journals with fabric. And if you went back to one of my videos last week, I made two journals, two Anna Green Gable journals. They're covered with fabric. And um, I used a Scategories game uh, cover game board and I have another one here so I'm going to cover it with this fabric and I'll probably be making a, a vintage Christmas journal out of this at some point but I'll cover it with you so I took the sticker off you this principle of covering um, with an upholstery fabric would work whether or not you have these you could use a cereal box or a repurposed book or you know whatever so I have my fabric and I like to do a thicker fabric because one of the journals I did the fabric was too thin and you could see the red through it and um, so I like to get a little bit of a darker and heavier fabric so let's get right into it all right I'm gonna lay it out and open up the board. Let me zoom out slightly. This, okay, here we go. Take your scissors and, oh, sorry if that light's, still having trouble with my light setup. I got one bulb, but I need to get another one and the shadows and everything are terrible. Until I get a better setup, I just, sorry about that guys. All right, so you want to leave a little bit of room all the way around. Like so. Now there's obviously quite a bit of room here, so we'll just cut off the excess. It does not have to be perfect. Because the inside's all going to be covered anyway. All right, so there's that. Now we're gonna flip it around. And I did run a little bit of sandpaper over it before just so that it will, um, the glue might grab a little bit better, but this isn't too bad. So I have some tacky glue and I just went all around it. And the other side. I might have to grab my other bottle of glue. I was refilling it this morning, but it doesn't fit very much. This is, I think, the tiniest bottle of tacky glue you can get. You could use, I'm sure, any kind of fabric glue or glue that will, yeah. This is just what I have, so that's what I'm using. Okay, so once you have that all there, okay, um, okay, we're going to put it down like that, and then press really well. And then for the corners, just kind of cut a little bit off so it's not bulky. I put book corners over it because this fabric won't mold very well to the corners, so the book covers, book corners, <laughs> can't talk this morning. <sighs> the book corners covered any problems there. Something like that. I'm going to grab some more glue. Okay, so got some more glue. And then I just glue down each of the flaps. It's a little boring to watch, but. And I do it this way because my sewing machine, I don't think would sew through this um, game board. And I really don't want to break my sewing machine. So, I'm going to get 
gives it a very clean look on the edge as well. All right. Then you just start flipping it over. Just press it down for a second, it'll hold. There we go. And this is a quick dry tacky glue, so it already starts grabbing really fast. There we go. Obviously let it dry. <laughs> But, as you can see, beautiful. And you could put book corners on it if you wanted to. For the inside, I just um, cut two pieces of cardstock to cover. Yikes, this lighting today. It must be something. I don't know what it is. Driving me crazy. All right. Um, two pieces of cardstock to cover the inside. And there you have it. Beautiful. So, I hope that was helpful. Um... Yeah, you can pretty much use this principle to cover any kind of game board or book, uh, cereal box, or whatever. If you're using a cereal box, be careful with how much uh, <laughs> glue you use. Might warp it a little bit. All right, thank you. Have a great day.